Hey, thanks for tuning in today to the Alive and Well podcast. I'm a pastor at Awaken Church in Rome, New York, and these are short messages, the summaries of my sermons each week. It's my hope and prayer that today you find inspiration in something you hear only so that you can live out your life as a fully devoted follower of Jesus, empowered by the Holy Spirit. So today we look at Acts chapter 1, and we learn three important things about how we should be living as followers of Jesus. So let's dive in and take a closer look at Acts chapter 1. The book of Acts is a record of the early church apostles and how they continued the ministry of Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit into Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and eventually into the entire Gentile world. It is a book full of inspiring history that reminds us why we are here today as worshipers of Jesus Christ. This fearless group of men and women, including Peter and Paul, were tenacious and determined in the face of persecution to rise up and be the witnesses of Jesus Christ as they were commanded in Acts chapter 1 but they would not have been able to accomplish any of these acts without the endowment and outpouring of the Holy Spirit into their lives, their homes, and their communities. This baptism of the Holy Spirit was an extension of the ministry of Jesus, an experience distinct from salvation, and it is clear that this is still available to every one of us who would so desire it. In the first chapter of Acts, Jesus appears to his disciples and commands them to be witnesses of him but to first wait for the Holy Spirit. This is the first thing we learn in Acts. We should be expecting to receive the power of the Holy Spirit. How do we raise this expectation, this confidence of receiving a divine enablement and empowerment for witnessing? Well, build confidence in that promise that He will meet you. Develop courage to obey His promptings and the leading of the Holy Spirit. Sensitivity to his convection will also keep you reminded of his presence and his purpose for your life. After commanding the disciples to wait for the Holy Spirit, Jesus will meet them on a mountain and will ascend into heaven, promising them all authority to be his witnesses. The apostles would gaze in awe and wonder at this moment, as any one of us would, But there are two angels explaining that Jesus will return again in this very same way. This is another lesson from Acts chapter 1, that we should be anticipating the imminent return of Christ. This is our blessed hope, the hope of the church. Jesus' feet will touch the ground once again, just as he lifted them here in Acts 1. Paul explains that his second coming will be in the twinkling of an eye, a moment, a split second, and he raptures his church. There will be a coming of the lawless one, an antichrist that will produce a great falling away. So it is vital for you to remain with anticipation, living in light of his, Jesus' return. After Jesus ascended, the apostles and early believers gathered together. They assembled in prayer in the upper room, and they began to establish a strategy of leadership and movement. They would meet in houses and send out missionaries, teach the scriptures, and most definitely pray and provide for the needs of their newfound family of faith. This teaches us one final lesson. We should be establishing the church. Let's not forsake it, but pursue it. There should be diligence in our devotion to the teachings of our leadership. There should be compassion and empathy, a sharing of one's resources with those in need. Take time to eat, drink, and do life with those who share in your faith. And remember that this is God's church, His bride. And we are meant to be beautiful, holy, and ready for His coming. So today, what's quenching your hunger? Your expectation for the Holy Spirit? Are you ready for the return of Christ? Is there anything that causes you fear in your heart? What keeps you from gathering with other believers and devoting your time and life to a local church? Did you know that Jesus is preparing us for his return? He's interceding for every one of us and reigning over the earth sovereignly. Let Jesus comfort you today. Expect his Holy Spirit to be with you. Anticipate his return. 
and establish yourself with other Christ followers. Hey, I hope that you found something today that inspired your heart and your faith in Christ. If you like what you heard, please subscribe or leave a comment. God loves you. And if you're looking for a church, visit us, Awaken Church online. Or for more information, better yet, come visit us on a Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Live like you're blessed and covered by God's favor today. Thanks for listening.